In this video, I'm going to show you how to connect our LX series IP cameras to an MVR. Uh, for this demonstration, I'm going to be using an IPOB LX 2MP IR150 L2812. Uh, these steps are the same for all of our LX series cameras for the IP series. Uh, for the MVR, I'm going to be using a four channel tiny MVR. Again, it's the same procedure. The first thing we need to do is you have to be able to ping or find the camera and the MVR on the network. There's two tools that you could use to find that, or you can use the tools that they are on uh, Windows. For example, I'm using Windows XP, and all I can do is I can just open the command prompt and then type ping, and the uh, default IP of the MVR on the and the cameras is for the cameras is 192.168.1.168 and for the MVRs is 192.168.1.108 okay uh, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna type ping space 192.168.1.108 that's the IP of the MVR so if I get a reply from the IP that I'm pinging that means that it's alive, it's there it's waiting to be accessible same thing, I'm going to hit the up arrow, and I'm going to delete the last three digits, and I'm going to type that one, that 168, and there you go. The camera is uh, waiting to be accessible as well, and that's it. Another way to do it is using the tools of each of these devices. For the LX series cameras, there is a tool on our website under download section. It's called IP Search, and then you basically open it, and click search, and there you go. From here, you can just basically double click and access the camera. For um, the MVRs, you can just use the config tool or the discover tool, and it's the same thing. Although I have other devices on the network, it's going to find all of those devices, but this is the one that I'm looking for. This is uh, the MVR, okay? Now, the next step is for you to configure Internet Explorer. To do so, you're gonna go to start, Control panel. I'm using Windows XP, so if you're using Windows 7 or Windows 8, it's pretty much the same steps. Everything is going to be under control panel. So you're going to go to Internet Options. You're going to go to Security tab, Custom Level, and scroll down until you see this option. Download unsigned ActiveX controls. Set it to Prompt. Click OK. Click Yes. And click OK again. You could use a tool like I showed you before. You can just double click on it and it will open this up. Now, this is the ActiveX control that you have to install or a plugin that you have to install for each camera. Um, the way you do it, you're gonna click in here, you're gonna run ActiveX control and you're gonna click run. Once this is done, you're going to log into the camera. The username and password is admin going to click uh, login and this is the camera. So uh, we need to enable motion, we need to enable region, and uh, that's pretty much it. So the first thing you need to do is you need to go to alarm and you're going to enable alarm and the alarm duration you're going to set it to 10. You're going to enable motion detection, you're going to click OK. Now it says save successfully. Then you're gonna go to motion. You're gonna uh, select the region. You see, when I hover over my mouse on this window, you will see that little green um, uh, squares. That means those are the regions that I'm going to be enabled for motion detection. So only this area is gonna be enabled for motion detection. This demonstration, I'm just gonna select all for every part of the picture, I wanted to uh, be able to detect motion. For the sensitivity, I will start, I will suggest to start in low and then work your way up. So it, depending on the environment, uh, the camera might capture motion more often and you might have to reduce uh, the uh, sensitivity. Uh, make sure you click under sensitivity, start with low and click OK. 
save successfully. And that's pretty much it. You can check other functions here. You know, if you wanted to adjust the contrast, for example, uh, you can do it there. Uh, the brightness, you can bring the brightness down if you wanted to. You know, all this can be done through the web service of the camera. Make sure that you always click OK when you're done uh, changing some of the, some of the settings. Um, that's pretty much it. Here, um, the next step will be configuring the resolution. You're going to go to settings. And uh, for the codec, you have already uh, assigned some of the resolutions this camera is supporting. So um, this is a 2 megapixel camera, so we're going to configure a 1920 by 1080. This is for the mainstream. And this uh, 352 uh, by 288, this is for the substream. So this is how it's going to be configured. And then the frame rates, you have uh, these four options here. You can either choose 5, 10, 20, or 30 frames per second. Uh, for the demonstration, we're going to choose 20. 2048 per camera will be OK. And rate control will be uh, VBR, so variable bit rate. It will be OK, too. For the frame rate for the stream 2, for the substream, we're going to do 10. And 512 is fine. This needs to be um, changed based on your network speed. We have plenty of bandwidth on our network, so I'm, I'm fine using 512. And again, uh, rate control will be uh, VBR. Here you can change uh, the name if you want it, the name that is going to be displayed on the screen. Uh, enable time if you want it, if you wanted to show the time there. And there's, I'm just going to click OK. Save successfully, and that's pretty much it. So I can just go to live video, and this is it. Now, the next step is connecting to the NVR and then connecting the camera to the NVR. So I'm just going to close this and go into Internet Explorer, and I'm going to type the IP address of the NVR, which is 108. Again, it's going to ask me to install certain things. Install this plugin. Some DVRs and NVRs, uh, you need to install uh, different sets of uh, ActiveX control as the firmware uh, add more features to uh, the unit. Through the web service, you need to install uh, more ActiveX plugins. So once I'm done, I'm just going to log into it. Then you can see this is a four channel. I have no cameras connected to it. So then I'm going to go to set. And I'm going to search, device search. And it's going to look over the network uh, devices that they are on the network, you know, like IP cameras, um, DVRs, et cetera. And here is the camera that we're trying, that we were working uh, before. You can tell it's an Enviv. So you can just simply click on it and click Add. And that's pretty much it. The status is OK. And now the camera is showing on the screen. That's pretty much it. So then what I need to do, I need to go to preview. There you go. Now the channel shows up there, the camera. And I have the option to open it using the mainstream or the extra stream. I'm just going to use mainstream. And there you go. This is how you add it. You have to make sure that your, your MVR is configured to record um, motion. So you're going to go to storage, then schedule. I'm pretty sure this uh, NVR is configured to record based on motion, but I just want to make sure. You see this, this date was configured to record 24-7. Uh, so I just want to make sure that every channel is recording on uh, motion. So you're going to click set. You make sure you click motion under period one. And for uh, all of the days of the week, you're going to select all. You're going to click Save. And you're going to click Save again. Now, this is only for channel one, but we want that to be copied to all of the channels. So now we're going to go to Preview. We're going to open the camera again. And I'm going to create some motion. I'm going to wave my hand in front of it. And now that should be uh, recorded on the NVR. 
we can go ahead and click playback and you can tell right here this is a motion event you can just click on it and there you go and here you can fast forward if you want it and you should be able to see what trigger motion um, there you go that's my hand so I hope uh, this video is informative to you and you know you can uh, learn how to configure the LX series cameras and then connect it to your MVR.